The Glowing Princess A long time ago, there lived a king who fell very ill because of an evil spell. According to the spell, there was only one thing that could save him, and that was the dirt from a rabbit hole that was at least ten years old. As you might guess, this was a tough spell to break. I shall go to the end of the world to find it. The prince set out into the forest to find a rabbit's hole. He rode along, but no rabbit could be seen, until suddenly one rabbit shot across his path. Rabbit entered a cave, and so did the prince, a cave that belonged to an evil giant. Now, who do we have here? A prince it is. How dare you enter my cave? I need the soil from a rabbit's hole. Please let me get that. My father's life depends on it, and then I'll be out of your way. Am I a fool to let you go? You're going nowhere. The giant put the prince into a cage. Let me go! Let me go, please! For two days, the prince stayed in the cage. He tried his best to get out, but he couldn't. He was sick with worry about his dear father. On the second night, the cage was suddenly opened. The prince winced at a strange light, and he saw a maiden, the most glowing lady there ever could have been in the entire world. I am the rabbit you followed the other day. The giant has enchanted me such that I become a rabbit by day and regain my true form of a princess at night. Quick! The giant is out. Run away before he comes back and takes this earth from a ten-year-old rabbit's hole for your father. Go now! Could you repeat that a little bit slower? Giant is out. You want me to run away? Uh huh. Before he comes back? Yes. And you want me to take some of your dirt? Right about now would be good. Yeah. Are you ten? Yes. As a rabbit, are you ten? Yes. Okay. Thanks. Uh huh. Give me your dirt. There you go. Pile it on. A little bit more. Oh, and uh, is there anything I can do to help you? Do you want to just stay here and be a rabbit, or? No, I'm good. Yes, of course, I'd like some help. Okay, what can I do to help you? Escape from here now, and then when your father is well, go out and wander into the world. You will find a way to help me. Now leave. Those are pretty vague directions, but uh, I'm a good wanderer. Okay. See ya, somewhere. Bye. The prince did as he was told. He went into the palace and saved his father's life. And then, as the princess had said, he decided to wander around the world. Father, now that you're well, I got a neat story to tell you. Um, you know that dirt that I made you eat before you got well? I got that from a rabbit. Oh, uh, well, uh, not just any rabbit. This rabbit was actually a princess. Cursed to be a rabbit uh, sometimes during the day. Anyway, skip forward. I'm supposed to leave you and go wander aimlessly around the world until I find her. And uh, that's all she told me. But I'll figure it out from there. Love you, Dad. Glad you're well. There's some dirt in the fridge. My son, I understand. More or less. Thank you for the dirt. The rabbit princess saved my life. You have to go do whatever you need to do to help her. Got it. Okay. So, uh, thanks. Uh, also, I think I'm gonna do this as, like, a regular peasant man and see what trade I can learn while I go. I don't know how long this wandering thing is gonna take. I might as well get some sort of occupational education. Very well. All the best, son. Good luck. So the prince left the palace as an ordinary youth. He wandered far when one night he met a fisherman at an inn. Hey, young man, I haven't seen you around here before. Are you new? Yes, I'm uh, looking to learn how to trade. I mean, learn a trade. I'm learning to... I would like to learn your trade. 
Then why don't you follow me? I could use some help with some strong hands like yours. Care to become a fisherman? Yes. So the prince went with the fisherman and learned the trade of fishing. After a few days, when work was over, the fisherman said, This net was given to me by a wizard. No one could escape from this net. Take it with you as payment. Thank you so much. And so, the prince moved on. When he was hungry, he fished. When he needed money, he sold fish. And he reached a new kingdom, the palace of which shone with a thousand bright lights at night. He asked someone passing by about it. My man, I'm new here. Please tell me, why is this palace decorated? Oh, the palace is decorated every night. The king as a proud father celebrates the beauty of our princess, and the king challenges the lady who glows more than his daughter. Ah, uh, why such an emphasis on beauty? It's just the pride of a father. Oh, okay. The prince went to the king's court. Your Highness, I know of a maiden like glowing... Uh, sunny things. Uh, I know, I, I, I saw a girl, she looks, she's br um, pretty and bright. She's like the sunlight of the sun itself. I'm sorry, I really didn't think this through before I came. Your Highness, I know of a maiden as glowing like the sun itself. Fisherman, I give you a week, bring her here. <laughs> yes, very well. So the prince went back to the forest and found his way to the giant's cave. He entered the cave. They had a huge fight. He captured him in his net, and the giant was imprisoned. The prince held the princess, and both came out of the cave. The prince told the princess all about the king and his daughter. So now that I've rescued you, we need to go on this mission to help out this other princess. She's tired of her dad bragging on and on about her beauty. The whole palace is decorated. You gotta come see it. What do you say? Okay, yes, I understand. Sounds good. Let's do it. Road trip! All right, so how do we get the enchantment, the giant's spell curse thingy on you about the rabbit stuff to be broken forever? We gotta get that taken care of. Yeah, sure. So it can be broken if I walk through a mist of gold. As a woman or as a rabbit? Hmm, I don't know. We'll just have to try both. How much time do you have? So they traveled to the kingdom. Where is the maid that you said is more beautiful than my daughter? Your Highness, to reveal her, I need a good amount of gold mist from your treasury. Do you have, like, one of those little misty bottles? The king was very desperate to see the glowing princess. So he ordered, Get him a bowl of gold dust. Uh, the dust must be put into pipes to be blown into the air so it rises like a golden mist. It's part of the presentation of the most beautiful princess in the world. Your Highness, he's wasting our time and your gold dust. If he's wasting our time, he shall pay for it. So the gold dust was filled into pipes, and guards blew it so that the dust rose like a thick golden mist. Then the princess arrived. She walked out from the golden mist. Her enchantment was finally broken, and the entire court sat mesmerized by her immense beauty. My lady, you are indeed the most glowing woman in the world. See, Father, now please, stop bragging about my beauty to everyone. I am sorry, my dear. The prince told the king everything. The king arranged for them to go back to the prince's kingdom, where they were married and lived happily ever after. The giant never bothered them again, but they were careful to never venture near his cave. The End If you enjoyed this story, please like and subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to get future updates. And don't forget to comment!